Let's get a Republican perspective on the State of the Union. We are joined now by the House Minority Whip, Congressman Eric Cantor of Virginia. Congressman, welcome to the program. Um, and Thank welcome you, back, I should say. It's a pleasure to have you again. We, we've got some video of your reaction to the President's proposal for the $30 billion going from bailed out banks towards community banks. Um, you're sitting next to John Boehner, and your reaction was to sort of uh, laugh it off. You didn't look too enthused about uh, $30 billion worth of TARP going to community banks. I take it that is your opinion? I don't think much of it, sir? Well, Stuart, listen, we knew the TARP program was an emergency program that needs to be paid back to the taxpayers. But I think that my reaction has been all along that if we want to provide credit to small businesses so we can get jobs created again, we shouldn't be taxing banks because they're going to now just pass that on to their borrowers that will inhibit the kind of credit flow we're seeking for them to grow their businesses. But the most popular thing we heard last night, which received cheers throughout the chamber, was every time the president beat up on the banks. Um, what do you make of this? What, what do you think should be the attitude of the administration or the Republican Party towards the banks? Well, you know, vilifying one sector of our society and pitting people against one another is divisive, and we ought not be doing it. I don't think that's the kind of leadership that people are looking for. Right now, people are looking to this president to lead, and it's been striking, Stuart, to see uh, the ability or willingness of this administration to just ignore public opinion. I mean, the people in Massachusetts last week, the people in my state of Virginia and uh, New Jersey back in November, stood up and said, you know, we've had enough, Washington. What you're doing, how you're doing it, doesn't track with where we think we ought to be going in this country. Uh, and if we're talking about banks and if we're talking about uh, uh, businesses, we know that they're made up of shareholders and employees. So what are we doing to folks when we say we're taxing these institutions? We're just going to make it more expensive for small businesses to borrow, making it more difficult for those jobs to be created in the private sector the way we know we need to. Real, real fast, Congressman. The president said he's going to push for $150 billion or thereabouts, stimulus plan for more jobs. Would you be in favor of it? For goodness sakes, no, Stuart. You know, oh. listen, we've had enough. I mean, $800 plus billion dollars in stimulus bill that didn't produce any jobs. Then the president says we've got to freeze domestic discretionary spending. Uh, but, oh, by the way, let me go and propose $150 billion more before I freeze. None of that makes sense. And I think the American people now um, have seen that their ire has been ignored. And I, I think that the president does so at, a, at the peril of his administration's agenda. And, and frankly, there is a better way for us to come together and to agree that we ought to put jobs first, uh, we ought to put fiscal management first, and we ought to get, out, get about the business of leading. All right. Congressman Eric Cantor, Republican, Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it, as Virginia. always. Uh, Virginia. That's Virginia, Stewart. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> Um, I'm very sorry, Congressman. Virginia, it <laughs> so is. We like Pennsylvania, too. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir.